Look at the bottom of the car. Oh my God. This looks phenomenal, YouTube. YouTube, what's goody? It's your boy Southside Nate, and we back with another episode of the Box Chevy Build. And on this episode, we're gonna pick up where we left off on the last episode and go ahead and get this frame painted. Now I don't done a lot of work off camera. Now I don't got the whole entire bottom of the car hit with the white wheel, sent it down. And then I went through and wiped all the metal down with some of that um, rust dissolver. Now I'm about to start painting up under the bottom of the car. First thing I'm gonna do is get down here. I gotta wipe all this, clean all this up, all that residue off the frame. And then mask the whole car up and mask up what I gotta already painted up front that I don't want paint to get on. Gotta mask that up too. Then we're gonna get the paint. First thing we're gonna do is hit all the spots that I couldn't sand with this rust converter spray paint. And it's gonna make it paintable, so that's cool. I found these in my storage unit. It was five cans. Now I was gonna do the Raptor, do the Raptor liner, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use these since I already got them. I ain't gotta spend no money. I got my own epoxy primer, regular primer, and my silver paint. It's go time, man. I got my bucket of soapy water right here ready for me to get up under there and wash everything down. I gotta get me a um, towel so I can dry it. And then we're gonna mash up the car and get the paint, man. Let's get it. Perfect. YouTube, I got the whole car masked up, ready to go. I don't got up under there. Get everything with some wax and grease removal. Wipe everything down. Now, I'm about to get up under there and hit all the spots, like the top of the frame that I can't get to. I'm gonna hit everything with this. All the parts where I really couldn't get up in there and clean the rust off. I'm gonna hit it with this. And then I come behind this with the epoxy primer on the rest of the frame. With that being said, man, let's get it.
Alright, it's been two days since I came over here and sprayed this. Oh boy, that's looking real good. That's looking real good. Yes, sir. Right when I was spraying the last coat of clear, yo, it started raining. Yo. It was like full fledged storm out here. So, right over here, well, I can already tell I got runs in it. But I can see where the water, what the water had hit it too. And it was raining like right down now. Ain't even gonna worry about that. That's gonna stay how it is. Tell you that now. But yeah, man, let me get my light set up and everything. I gotta fix some masking in the front. And then I'm gonna get up under here and mask all this up. Come about to spray the bottom of the car and these wheel wells and stuff with the uh, undercoats. And we'll get a better look at the frame. But yeah, man, I'm satisfied with that, dog. It look good. Other than that little run right there. Yes, sir. I am satisfied with that. Man. And watch when I hit all this with that black. How it's going to make that stand out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, let me get all my stuff set up and get to it. Let's get it. Alright, I got all my supplies and everything together. I'm about to start getting to work. I just want to give y'all a quick look at it before I mask it up. That part right there came down with the little storm that came the other day. Got the light back there. I hope y'all can see it. But yeah. When the frame came out good. She got some runs. It's up under the car though, so I ain't touching none of them runs. I'm gonna tell you that now. None of them runs are getting touched. But I got the whole frame though. I'm gonna give y'all a good look from up under the car. We got a run over there too. feeling it. Now I'm about to spray the actual bottom of the car with the undercoat. And I'm not prepping nothing. I'm a, I'm a, uh, all the prep I'm going to do is I'm about to cover up all everything that's silver. I should be able to get a piece of plastic to go straight up through there. Come around. So yeah, I'm about to cover up everything that's silver. About to mask all that up. And then start spraying the undercoat. Let's get it. 
All right, YouTube. I got the whole frame masked up. All the way. Everything I don't want paint on, I got taped up. So what I'm about to do now is get these cans and get the painting, man. Parts right here taped up. I don't want no paint on the frame there. So yeah. Everything taped up. About to get my mask, get my paint. I think I'm gonna wipe this. It got a little overspray on it. Nothing major. I'll probably go through and wipe all that with um, some wax and grease removal. Just try to get most of that overspray off as much as I can off. And then I'm gonna get that paint and we're gonna spray this baby. Let's get it. Let's go time, baby. I got five cans of that undercoating. I got everything up under there prepped and ready to spray. So let's get it, man. <laughs>
All right, you too. I just got back from um, AutoZone. I ran out. Them five cans wasn't enough. But this all AutoZone had. They didn't have it on rust -Oleum or the Raptor brand. They had one can on the Raptor. So I needed two. So I got two cans of this right here. Really all I got to hit is the wheel wells. I probably tucked up a couple spots under the bottom. Cannot complain. second can get another coat and then get up under the bottom and touch up what I whatever I see I need to touch up all right you too I got everything sprayed it's black so it's gonna be hard to see everything nice and uniform under there yes sir nice and uniform To the back, all black. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 
So I got a couple errands I need to go run. Gotta handle some business. I'm gonna let this dry for a couple hours while I'm running them errands. And I'm gonna come back, snatch all the plastic off so we can get the final look with the frame being painted and the bottom of the car being painted. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna go run my errands and I'm gonna come back in a couple hours. I'm gonna cut y'all back on when I'm ripping this plastic off. All right, YouTube, it's been a couple hours since I sprayed that last coat of the undercoat. So let's go ahead and rip the plastic Perfect. off. YouTube is official. The bottom of the car is all done. Let's get up under there and see how she look. I need better light. But yeah. But yeah. For me laying on the ground on me, man, this looks phenomenal. YouTube. YouTube. Hold on, this creep will be giving me head. YouTube. This looks phenomenal. Oh yeah, come on, right? Come on. I gotta run right there, but I ain't gonna worry about it. The gas tanker had it covered up anyway. Yeah. Man. You too, this looks phenomenal. Look at the bottom of the car. Oh my God. This looks phenomenal, you too. Satisfied. I'm definitely digging the outcome. Man. I am satisfied with this outcome. Let me get the camera on. I'm gonna paint the hell out the jet stand. Now, there's going to be a spot right there that's going to need touching up. On both sides, from where the jack stand at. It's going to be a small spot, though. And I hope that shit don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? I might have to cut that with a razor or something, make sure it don't peel my damn paint up. Y'all know I'm doing some driveway shit now. I don't want to hear nobody mind. For the most part, this shit look good, dog. I'm satisfied with it. 
I am satisfied with it. And blend in with the front. I got a little spot right there. Right there. With the tape. When I peel the tape off, it peels some of the paint off. But it's on the inside, so I ain't tripping. Like I said, I can sand that down. I can get some little, um, some of that metallic silver spray paint. And touch that up. Same thing I'm gonna do with them spots right there. Hit it with some of that metallic spray paint. And then I'll um, probably go over with some clear. Just touch them little spots up. I ain't even gonna scratch it. It's the frame, bottom of the car. But yeah, man. Y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think, man. Tell me what y'all think. I think it came out good. Y'all like it. I think it came out real good. But yeah, like I was saying, YouTube, like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here on this. Right here, because I got to go home and start shooting a whole other video for the bubble. Because the bubble got me bent. The bubble got me bent. Well, yeah, man, like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all think, man. I'm feeling it. I feel like it came out good. I feel like it came out good, man. Yes, sir. I feel like this joint came out good. Yeah, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, boy. Your boy's out.